Optimizing your site for search engines, or SEO work with Concrete 5, couldn't be easier. First thing we're going to do is simply put some good meta descriptions on this page. So we're on the services page in this example site, and we're going to click the gear icon, and then pick SEO. Now these are all the fields that might affect your page's ranking. Uh, the name is the name of your page on the Concrete 5 site, and that'll actually update navigations, um, any of the page list blocks or auto navs that will link to it. So you can change services, but it'll show up on your page as well. The URL slug is what shows up in the URL field. Uh, and a lot of SEO work revolves around this these days, making sure that you've got really meaningful keywords in the URL itself um, will help with your, with your listings. Just make sure you don't put any spaces in here. So let's make this really specific and industry. The meta title will pass a different field to Google to use than just the page name, and that's what will be in the blue linked area on Google's results. So um, you, know, you can get uh, pretty specific here, golf services are the best. The meta description is the short paragraph that's displayed after that link. Uh, you want it to, be, to read nicely and be about a sentence, but um, again, try to get some good keywords in there. Um, Meta keywords, there's different schools of thought as to how much they're used these days, but uh, if you put a comma separated list of words in here, it can't hurt. Um, this header extra content area will just paste whatever you put in here in the header section of your web page. So you might be using some third party service to track things, um, or maybe you need to put like a, a code on your home page for Google's. Uh, Webmaster tools to know it's you. This is where you can put any other meta tags that you need in your header section just for this page. We're going to save those changes. I'm going to show you how images work. So if you've got a content block and you place an image in there, you probably want to make sure it's got a good alt tag. So we're just going to put an image from the file manager or from your local hard drive, and we'll insert it. But now if I roll over this guy, you'll see a little edit. I'm going to click that, and you can see here's a title, and having that in there is going to really help with your SEO results. Additionally, if you use the image block, which is a standalone image, you just go ahead and drop him here choose a file. You'll see here I've got the opportunity to both do alt text, which is what shows up on hover over over it, um, kind of like a tooltip, and do a title. Um, so these really give you the tools that you need at a page level to set all of the metadata that search engines are looking for. Um, if you publish your changes, make them live and go view the source, you'll see that all that's been updated. Another great tool built into Concrete 5 is the bulk SEO updater. So if I come up to Intelligent Search and type SEO, you'll see it down here under Systems and Settings. And what this does is it gives me a little search filtering area where I can limit uh, what parts of the site I want it to grab pages on. And then it puts all of that SEO data in one nice list. So I could have my SEO expert come in here uh, and just come through and um, fix all the descriptions or uh, update all the page names. And often if you get an SEO review, you'll get some type of document back listing all of URLs and making suggestions. Um, this is a great way to just go through and do it. You can save individual ones as you go, or you can just save everything that you've edited on this website. So there's just some of the SEO tools that are built right into Concrete 5. Uh, there's more add-ons in the marketplace that lets you do um, kind of diagnostics and statistics and see how you can improve things. But really, all the tools you need to make sure that you've got great listings for all the search engines are cooked right in.